dance break. Oh, Jesus. Whoops. <laughs> we'll edit that out. Just so you know, everybody, Paul just sucker punched his microphone. I did. I, was, I got too. dance crazy. Hello. Hello, is this Dan? Yeah, it is Dan. Hey, Dan, this is Paul, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and podcast. We got Tommy here with me. Hey, what's going on, Dan? How you doing? How's it going, guys? It's oh. going quite well. I just knocked over my mic because we were doing a dance break while calling you, what? and so yeah. that is going to be in your, yeah. unfortunately, in your intro. <laughs> I got a little bit dance uh, see, see, happy we, we, we and knocked it dance over. While while we're calling people because we play the music and we hear the music so often, so we just kind of were like dance break and we just start dancing, and it's just something you gotta fun have to, fun with it, right? Exactly, it's just something fun to do. And Paul just gets out of hand and just sucker punched his microphone, like a like. A, I did, I did, and uh, I should you know it has to be this close. I usually have two mics. I, I they mic me up a, a bit because I seem to move a, a, I move a lot. And so I'm not always uh, <laughs> close to the mic, and uh, it's all about the audio, and we don't want to ruin it for our listeners. And so um, this time I, I, you know, just knocking stuff over. But thanks for coming on the show. The idea behind the radio show and podcast is to spread happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. And uh, you sent in a photo. We had two good-looking bass, and Absolutely. so we want to hear. Uh, your fish story, maybe what bait you were using, uh, the location of the fish, if you want to share that. And, um, or you could just make it up yeah, and tell somebody where you didn't catch that fish. I do that to Tommy all the time, and I tell him, hey, I was fishing, and I tell him the location, and then he goes over there and I'm in hopes that I don't, <laughs> that so, he doesn't catch anything, and, and I get to smile and laugh about it. So yeah. you did uh, include the, the bait that you were using, so uh, in the photo, and so I'm looking at it now. We want to see what type of, uh, you know, where those baits came from. And so we can maybe use it and catch a fish that size. And then uh, the size, if yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. it's your so, fish story. Um, Go ahead. That was, uh, that was out this summer. I live in uh, Chicago, Illinois. So that's just a local quarry around here. It's mm -hmm. public. People can actually go fish it. Um, it's out in Crystal Lake. Um, but, yeah, it was really interesting. It was... I believe it was around June, May, if I had to guess. Um, I was out with a buddy who hadn't been fishing in a while, and I wanted to get him on some, and I knew that was a good spot. Mm -hmm. um, we saw him busting around this island on top water, mm -hmm. so I tied on. I believe the first one I tied on, I have to double check. I believe it was the gunfish, um, Lucky Craft, Lucky Craft gunfish, mm -hmm. uh, just a walking bait, top water instantly hooked up um and right when i set the hook it snapped at the tip of my rod for whatever reason i was using probably 20 pound braid mm -hmm. um but just clean snapped at the tip of my rod unfortunately uh i didn't wait too long tied on the stutter step the um the other bait on the left i believe mm -hmm. uh and right away instantly again hooked up they were just on biting and the second I got that fish in, I noticed there was a bunch of line wrapped around. I wasn't sure if it was from that fish itself or the previous one. And when I grabbed it, I ended up grabbing the fish by the mouth and had some line in my hand. And I could feel shaking still, even though the fish wasn't shaking. Yeah. So once I grabbed that other line, I'm hand reeling it in and I have the other fish in the boat. It was the other fish. So they must have been schooling out there, wrapping up in each other and I just happened to get that lure back and caught two fish at the same time. That is on one awesome. Cast, so. That is awesome. That is yeah. awesome. Lucky. Yeah, I was super happy. I mean, that's one of my favorite baits. Uh, caught like a 37 and a half inch pike on that uh, gunfish. Yeah. Lucky craft. And I, just, I wanted it back so bad. It was just amazing that that happened. That's awesome, though, that you caught two at the same time. That That's cool. I mean, that that's, you know, that is an, an I'm lucky story. enough to, if I catch one. Yeah, you are. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, one, uh, it's probably because I'm always like trying to film you and like, let's do stuff for the company. And then, you know, I don't, I end up not I, catching fish. And then you just point it out, hey, do you ever catch fish? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you see pictures on Instagram of these guys catching two on spooks all the time, yep. like jerk baits and schools. But I've, 
I've, that's one of the only times I've ever heard of someone catching a fish on two different baits on the same cast. Yeah, I mean, it's that's one of the most random things I've ever had happen to me. That's awesome. I mean, I, I you know, I, personal story, actually, I was out fishing with Felix one time, and I've seen Felix actually catch the same fish twice, and that was because he had caught wow. a fish. <laughs> it's, it's not as extravagant as you may think. We, he caught a fish. We were, we were trout fishing, and we were float tubing. Caught a fish, unhooked it. It fell back into the water, but he, he he panicked when he went to grab it. I think he smacked the fish. So the fish just fell and then just laid there. And he was like, oh, I lost it. And I'm like, dude, it's floating right next to you. So he, just, he ended up grabbing it and put it on his on his, uh, on his a stringer and, and <laughs> had it later that day. But it was just like. That's one way to do yeah, it. I was yeah. like, dude, you just smacked the crap out of that fish <laughs> when you were trying to grab for it. You know, the next time you tell that story, Tom, yeah. that let's make sure to say that that fish swam away and bit oh, no. the bait. <laughs> it, he it, grabbed it was, the hook a, a second it time. It was still alive. It was just stunned. Like it just, I know, but it he just let's there. let's make it a fish story <laughs> worth telling, please. Oh, worth telling. Okay, yeah, no, it was. You forget who you're talking to. No, I'm just... kidding. It was a good story. Almost, <laughs> it was almost there. Did it for me. I was listening. Yeah, no, we we we're just you know like like you've said before, we're just all a bunch of idiots. Everybody that runs this company is just a bunch of idiots. Well, I can't, I can't say <laughs> you are. I, I would never include just one person, so I include me in it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's not that I want to include me. I just, you know, sometimes oh, I. You just feel it feels better if you like. It's it's don't a management thing. Out. You don't single people out. You include the group. You say things as a group. See That's how I how get treated it. here, Dan? This is ridiculous. <laughs> we love the photos, Dan. We love that you caught two fish. That and awesome. uh, thanks for coming on the show. We we uh, we were supposed to have you on before. We know you're busy, and so yep. thanks for coming back on. Uh, your your photo still gets uh, um, engagement, and so Tommy's looking at how many people have seen your photo. So that's a good photo. Got you on the show. Please continue to send it in and come back. Uh, you're welcome to come back anytime you have Absolutely. a fish story you want to tell. We know it's a little bit, uh, you know, the weather it's is a cold. Little cold over there right now. We know. And, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking have... to get on some ice today, hopefully. There you go. Yeah, we want to see those two. We've had a couple of ice uh, stories so far, mm -hmm. uh, but we could always use uh, any fish story. So, yeah, we uh, we enjoyed our time with you, and uh, thanks for being so active on our uh, social media platform, uh, Facebook. Awesome. And, and, thanks uh, for having us, guys. Oh, yeah. From all of us here you at Outsider Tackle Box, uh, Tight Lines, Tight lines Fish More. Have and a great lines. Saturday. Enjoy some ice fishing if you get in there. Yeah, you guys have a good one. All right. Take care. Have a good one, bud. Thanks, Dan. Okay. There we go.